Hello everybody and welcome back to Universal Giant Plays Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. This is part 3 and we're moving on to the third level of Popstar. King DDD's Castle. So you can see the castle in the background. Uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, you, this game is available on the Wii's Virtual Console. So if you want to uh, get the game for yourself, Check it out there. I believe it's it's an N64 game, so I think it's 100 points. Uh, could be wrong, but uh, I wanted to combine those two. But yeah, I do encourage you to check it out if you have uh, the chance. So, I've got double bombs. I wonder what this power-up does. That's interesting. Rockets. Homing rockets, apparently. That's neat. Uh, but hang on, I, I, I seem to remember I'm going to need those, uh, those cutter guys. So, let's go back and grab them. Like I said, I'm doing a 100% run. I might not be able to get all the crystal shards in one, in one run through, but I'm going to try my best. And I do remember I need double cutter. Alright, going through the castle now. Interesting music. Ooh! Pronto birds coming through the back. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. This is the first. This was the first 3D curve. Oh, whoa, whoa, ba ba! Looks like I lost my double cutter. I don't think I'm gonna be able. Oh, maybe. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Uh, this is the first, or at least it was the first 3D Kirby game made. And uh, even though it's three-dimensional, it plays like the two-dimensional games of old, which I thought was kind of interesting when I first got the game. It's you—you you actually don't play it with the joystick, like you did with the others. You play this with the D-pad. So it is very much like the old school Kirby games. Despite the 3D graphics. Which were amazing when I first saw them. For a Kirby game. Oh, well, let's go. This is what I need double cutter for. You see the green block down there? You need a cutter to break it. Voila. Crystal shard. And there's Adeline. How does she help? She paints a one-up. That's so thoughtful. Okay. And there's a little crystal shard over here. Let's see. It always helps to explore every little nook and cranny of these levels as you're going through them. More often than not, you'll be rewarded. But you can see, as I'm going around here, I would have noticed the crystal shard in the background behind the fountain over there. You can see, even though this game plays like a two-dimensional have all sorts of uh, 3D effects, which are kind of cool. Okay, so let's go up. Uh, oh, that doesn't look like a good thing. To oh, I fell all the way down. My boomerang's got to chase me. Poor thing. way back up here. Try not to jump off. See the little uh, yellow spark when it forms? That hurts. Try not to touch it. Okay, I remember seeing a little light over there. So let's try to climb up where the light is. Probably a way out. Wonder who's at the top of the castle. 
King DDD. Oh, what a surprise. He found a shard too. But he's not going to let us have it. Come on, DDD. Give us the shard. We need the shard. Uh oh. It's another evil blob of dark matter. As if DDD wasn't mean enough. So, looks like you got hit him a bunch of times. This is interesting music. Ah, beat him! You lose. I get your shard now. Ah, oh, poor guy. Well, at least we got the shard. Let's go. Come on, DDD. You know you want to join us. You don't want to be left out. Don't play the tough guy. Yeah, there we go. I think I missed the card, so we're going to go for the one-up. And I hope we have time for the boss. So let's do it. This is Wispy Woods. Ow. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to hit those guys, not suck them up. So, every world has a boss. Ah, I'm not doing so hot. And... You take this stuff the boss gives you, you suck them up, and you hit the little trees with them. Now, Wispy Woods is a classic boss from, I think, most of the Kirby games. Especially the first one, where he appeared as the first boss. Uh, I was in Kirby's Dreamland. Don't hit me! And, like most bosses, he has two parts. In the first part, you see he hits the little... You hit the little tree things that are running around. And now, here, it's just Whispy Woods. He tries to hit you when he blows one of those things. I guess it's a gust of air. And then he drops apples for you to throw at him and hit his roots. And you do damage to him by doing that. I think this should do it. Nope. I guess gotta hit him one more time. But there's a the little gust he blows to shoot. And then once more with the apples. Here come the roots. And that should do it. And that does it for Popstar. We got all the crystal shards. Where are we going next? Looks like the shards got enough power to, for, to take us to Rockstar. So there goes Ribbon. I think we should follow her lead. Let's go, gang. Off to Rockstar. And that's going to do it for part three of Universal Giants playthrough of Kirby 64. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and favorite if you like this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.